Hey, uh, Donald, this is, uh, Josh. Um, just want to let you know I have one of these guys here. This is a Scorpion. Or, I'm sorry, this is the, the, uh, sorry, excuse me, the Infinite. You can see. Infinite, uh, 3025, 1290. I plan to put this on some kind of, uh, Speed Demon. Maybe with, like, a 99 or, or a 910 prop. Uh, something that will go very fast. I got this. This was, uh, 28 bucks, as I recall. And uh, co the, com the, the comp comparable Scorpion motor would be like 70 or 80. Uh, but these are really, really built well. Nice leads. Um, the windings. Uh, I've heard sort of people say some stuff about the windings are not best, but I've seen some issues with Scorpion windings too, so not that big a deal. So, what you were asking about was how to basically how to free up the. Um, free up the shaft and move it. I'm not sure exactly which direction you want to move it. You want to move it like this way all the way out or if you want to have like a firewall here and have this sticking out. I mean, you get plenty of space on either side. I'm not sure exactly which motor that you have, but um, uh, the, the key is this. I mean, I have this as a retainer that I have. Um, I'm not sure if this came with them. I think this might have come with more scorpions, but it's a it's a retainer that's got, that's a fit for, I think this is a, what is it? A, what is it? This? Six millimeter shaft, I think so. Six millimeters, um, yeah, six. Um, two set screws, you know, perpendicular to each other. Um, that makes it, you know, nice and snug. But you take that off. I don't have an Allen wrench with me right now. If you look, there's a, just the standard retaining clip. But there's a brass uh, washer, in the retaining clip that's uh, fit into a groove on this this uh, shaft. And uh, but you take that off, you have to, you know. Get little ring pliers and move that without damage in the the ring with the, the little the little uh, clamp with the little ring like that. You just kind of have to spread it apart and pop it off. Pull out the wall, pull off, push, drop off the washer, and tap it like that. But here's the important part: if you look inside the housing, I don't know if you can see that inside the housing there, there's a there's a set screw. And on this one, uh, they're on opposite sides of each other. So, like, the set screws are, like, right there. So, there's one right there. Uh, actually, they're on the opposite side of each other. Actually, one's right there and one's right there. So, like, basically, they are at a right angle, just like the other ones. Once you loosen that, you can move the shaft back and forth. Um, uh, once, if you were, if you're going to do the firewall thing, the firewall, where this is the propeller here, here, like this, this is the firewall. You can push this this part of the slow this part of the, this part of the shaft all the way through flat, and then just use these Allen keys in here just to tighten it down. They got extra shaft on it here. If you want to do it the other way, basically you want one of these, okay? When you could uh, because of the that groove on the shaft is in a certain spot, it's not going to work once you if you want more shaft. So you just use one of these retaining clips, and what that does is as the motor spins up, um, it keeps it from the the, the actual. Uh, the, the can here from flying off with the prop. Um, people have been doing that for all for a long time. No biggie. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, there you go.